Okay, for me, the first thing I do once I go into such data, I want to have a general look if there are any changes in the community structure. And the way I do it is using an MDS. For those of you who aren't familiar with MDSs, I'll explain once it's created. I just choose the whole data by pressing here. Many times you will have empty cells at the bottom or on the right here. In these cases, you will have to define your data by just choosing corner to corner. And then I do multivariate, ordination, MDS. As you can see, I have one problematic data point. Okay. I chose the wrong corners. Okay. And there are many similarity indices you can use. We usually use Ray Curtis for benthic ecology, which is what I do. So I choose that and I compute. Okay, so this is a map. What it does. That's the MDS. What it does, each row here, each sample, is a point. Although there are many variables or many dimensions for the data, what this map here does, it tries to estimate how different these samples are from one another. And on this map here, samples that will have similar community structure will be close and samples which diverge will be far away from each other and as you can see there is something in my data I see groups within the data okay I, I will explain later what I can do with these groups but Another way, for those of you who are familiar with dendrograms, another way to look at the same data and see if there are groups is by doing multivariate clustering, classical clustering, and again I will use Bray Curtis and compute it, and you can have a look and see that's the structure I'm, I won't go any further okay so this is the end of